Hello there, fellow autoloader fans, and you know what they say. Hitting it twice makes it a lot more nice. So today, two battles with two short autoloaders, starting off with the Object 752. Probably the currently best tier 9 tank that there is. Now, remember, the margins are going to be very small. But in my opinion, still, this is the best one at the moment. Now, it is a supremacy battle. Which is already a disadvantage if you want to do really high damage, but it can be an advantage if you want to, for example, win a 1vx situation where you have the points advantage. If you have the points disadvantage, then obviously you're going to lose. Now, I personally don't like Supremacy as a mode whatsoever. It just complicates the game even further unnecessarily. Like, it doesn't add anything to the game, but it subtracts fun from it because you now also have to take care of the cap circles and the points. And in regular modes, you don't have to. So I personally don't like it. I don't care about it. But what do you think about Supremacy Mode? Do you like it? Do you play it? Do you not care? Put it down in the comments. And while you're down there, hit the like button if you want to. I don't know. But here's the thing. Two shot autoloaders can be an advantage. Can also be a disadvantage. And obviously having two shots compared to one is always a great thing. Because you'll be able to do more damage. However, the huge disadvantage is obviously... You can have a quite long reload, and if you're only getting off one shot, you now have that huge reload while still having a shot in the chamber, significantly reducing your DPM. So it can also be somewhat of a burden to only have two shots in the autoloader, but nonetheless, this vehicle and vehicles like the Brask do work really well because of the double tap ability that they have. I saw the stats earlier, they have very good alpha damage, almost 900 with two shots and you do that three times you're already way above average which is not too bad now this side of the map tends to be terrible i mean this entire map's terrible but the enemy team's over here as well all pretty much all the fighting is happening on this side so that is perfectly fine now the problem that the 752 really has is the intraclip is maybe a second too long maybe but not really it still works because obviously the lower your intraclip reload is the for example, the first shot did track the grill. The lower the intraclip reload is, the more likely you are to get that second shot off before the grill is able to repair and drive back. So, ideally want a fast intraclip reload and not end up like an i Defender or a m 4 yaw that aren't even real autoloaders. Aim your shots. My man. Aim your shots. Come on. Aim the, aim the shot. Aim the shot. A there we go. Now, the enemies... Have four tanks alive. The enemies have two caps up. That is not great in a situation like this. So you have to worry about capture circle C. You have to take the cap circle C. In this case, uncontested. So it works quite easily. Not too bad there. But you still have to worry about it. The points advantage is roughly 100 right now. And it is going to extend itself. But there is a one tank disadvantage. And again, 1,600 hit points. That is... The perfect amount to have for this kind of situations because you can trade some hit points in the early game but ideally if you hold your hit points towards the end and uh, that makes it anticlimactic there's an a mx 50 b that's uh, sleeping but hey it's free damage now while we're at it let's talk about should you shoot an afk or not the answer is a little bit of a two-piece answer if the AFK is AFK, and you're not currently fighting any other enemies, then you should shoot at them. Like, if there's no any other enemies around you that can fight you. Because if that AFK becomes an AFK, you now don't have to deal with a 2,000 uh, hit point bag of meat, because they're dead. So, if you're unopposed by the enemy team, shoot the AFK, take them out of the battle, so that if they wake up, you don't have a really big problem with a full HP tank that's now in the fight. And that is how you get 5,000 damage. Very nice. And now, one shot. That one's got a count. So aim and... <sighs> of course not. When it has to count, it doesn't. And out of APCR as well. Out of AP as well. It's not great, but this is supremacy. This is the freest color banner of all time. Essentially... What you're going to do right here is wait for either the Yacht Tiger or the STB to peak and take that free kill and now for the time to expire. And that is 
the freest Kolobanov that you can get in World of Tanks Blitz by simply having three enemies alive and having the timer expire and reaching 1,000 points. So congratulations, and of God, to this rating battle 1v3. I don't know why the 50b was AFK. I mean, it's, it's rating battles. You'll, you'll lose rating if you're AFK in rating battles. Damn. But anyway, we move on to one of the best tier rates now in the T77. Once again, too short auto loader this time. 10 degrees of gun depression, 380 alpha damage. Armor that is not quite as good as the object 752s, but it is still very potent, especially if the enemy just sits there. Ideally, you also want to aim your shots, but. I think I'm the king of missing shots, yet somehow still doing high damage anyway. I don't know how I do it. Don't ask me. But I, I miss all the shots all the time, and I still get high damage anyway. Because that really comes down to amount of opportunities. How many opportunities do you get to shoot at the enemy without the enemy shooting back at you? And this is a bit... Yeah, somehow that pins. But I was about to say this is a bit weak there, just staying out in the open don't have a clear way of firing at the KPZ, so the likelihood of getting the shot, even though it did happen, so it ended very well, but the likelihood of that ending well is somewhat lower, so in that case, pulling back would have been more useful. Now again, the IS-5 just fired, so he's not a problem. The Skoda hasn't fired yet, but you, know, you can trade two shots for one. That's the great thing of two shot auto loaders, you can trade two for one. That's a that's another thing that kind of come, that comes up a lot and that really annoys me is that a lot of players, when they get shot, they pull back. Like, when they get shot by a single shotgun, they pull back and run away. It's like, you just got shot. The enemy is reloading. You can peek them and fire them without any penalty to that because they're reloading. And if you roughly know their reload, you'll be perfectly fine. And... How does one survive this situation now? That is going to be interesting. That is going to be very interesting because here comes the IS-5 and he does bounce. And again, he's reloading now for the next 10 seconds. I know you can use that time to evacuate to get out. How does one live through this? There is a SU-130 in the back and there you go. Like a send from heaven. Well, not really from heaven because that's not real, but like a send from the back of the map. He takes the shot, takes out the IS-5. Now the Skoda just fired as well. Skoda's completely defenseless, but he's on 500 hit points. And now what you want to do is you want to pull back and pull him into the ray of fire of the SU-130. And there goes the shot, and he just biffs it anyway. I love this game. Like, watching replays like this just makes it so much more fun. Because here's the thing. No matter what your skill level is, remember that no matter how good or bad somebody is, they're still going to do absolutely brain their dumb things from time to time. And that, I think, makes it a lot more interesting. Now here, very well, rightfully spotted. The CC is attempting to turn, but it is a very slow vehicle to turn, so you can't escape right here. Now, important to track the SU-130, or don't. How many times is he going to cheat death? He's called Sneaker Artist, but he should be called death escape artist because I have no idea how is how is he alive I don't understand this battle I just genuinely don't understand this battle like it doesn't make any sense and here is the the CC and he obviously doesn't fire either and he what is going on in this battle I do not understand I'm out of words what do you what do you like explain to me in the comments how much luck do you need for that. <laughs> thank you for watching. And see you in the next one. And thank you for sending in the replays. If you want your replays featured on the channel, put them on my Discord server.